of the Moak Slim Fatty. I'm going to show you the oscillator section as well as the filter. I've got my oscilloscope set up so that you can actually see the action of the waveform. So, here we go. We're going to start from a calibration preset, which is one single square wave oscillator. And I'm going to bypass my effects. There we go. So we have just a... All right, so starting at the low F here, well, not low, but below uh, one octave below uh, A440. A440's here, and then the F below that. We've got our single oscillator right here that is octave adjustable. And what's great about the Slim Fatty is that you can see we're taking it from a triangle wave, continuously adjustable through saw, now into square. And then down in a narrow pulse. Take it back to my square. You can hear that part where the harmonics leave. Right there. It's about as pure as it gets for the Moog Slim Fatty. And you change the level on oscillator one. And then bring in oscillator two. Now it's set to a square wave. And that's tunable up through a fifth up or a fifth down. see as I get closer to proper tuning as I get closer to proper tuning the oscillations slow down you can see that on the oscilloscope now the filter let's take it back down to one oscillator and here I'll show you the filter action. And this is the setup on the four pole mode. Let's bring in a little resonance. little more resonance and you can hear the harmonics come in and out let's take this down to a saw wave that where the top of the square wave just kicks out. You can actually hear a really high harmonic lead too. Now let's bring that resonance back up.
we'll take it way up. You can hear the individual harmonics. got keyboard tracking completely variable envelope positive and negative so let's set that up to take our cutoff all the way from zero much smoother than I could do by hand. Take the envelope generator back to zero. Now I want to show you something called overload here. And you can hear and see on the oscilloscope see on the oscilloscope exactly what this is doing. It's not really making a square wave out of it. Bring in some resonance. Now let's check out the difference between that and without the overload. Much tamer. Got multiple envelopes for volume and for filter. One single LFO over here in the modulation section, which goes up into the audio range up uh, to 100 hertz. You can also modulate from oscillator 2, which is pretty great. Um, setting the amount here, you're able to set up um, using your mod wheel how much comes in. So let's take this envelope generator off. Bring my cutoff back up, resonance back down. So, zero modulation from oscillator two. some really thick and bell-like tones in this. You 
You can even set oscillator 2 to modulate itself. Or to modulate the pitch. Set it up for multi-trigger. Kind of takes you through some of the some of the modulation possibilities of the Moog Slim Fatty um, modulation and sound possibilities, as well as kind of review. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post them. I'm more than happy to uh, demonstrate individual features on this, and um, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 